Well, I think um, I started off as a graphic designer, really, and uh, by accident became an artist, just really when um, I briefly went to uh, study in the Northwest Institute and uh, was inspired by a tutor there. Um, he told me that I had ability, so I really just ran with that, um, and I've been doing it ever since. Well, I think the religious imagery would come from the idea of appropriating imagery from the past, which, you know, you've got a whole tradition of Renaissance and so forth, um, painting. Um, and people, had, people like Peter Blake, for instance, have taken imagery that they liked from the canon of, of um, art of the past, and I've kind of taken some of the imagery that would be um, significant um, and included it in some of my pieces to... Well, because I like the images and because they're significant images and, you know, yeah. I suppose to a certain extent I'm trying to put across an idea of inclusivity um, in people's traditions of religious traditions or um, traditions of worship and that people should really live and let live. With some of the earlier stuff, for instance, um, would have been, um, would have in mind, I had not to use blues and greens. Blues are kind of a synthetic color in some ways, and I was interested in the kind of atmosphere of menace that I was able to get in paintings by not using that color. However, having, having worked um, with that end of the spectrum, with the kind of reds, etc., I came out of that and, and wanted to then to actively try to see what I could do with the blues. So you've got the mermaid pictures and start contrast to some of the other stuff. That's that's I actually love it. I love it. 